is a big boy. Man's best friend yeah, saw that real. love return today. Good job! <laughs> He's so brave! From workers and witnesses who jumped in as their daycare burned. It just happened so fast, you know, so we had to work faster than the fire was spreading. <laughs> drawing around a hundred dogs outside and into yards and crates, protecting them for those who call them family. Oh, it's just my baby. This is my baby. And the workers who feel the same. Right now, we're just trying to make sure that they're all good. Isaac Walker's own dog is here with a name that now tells a story. What's the name? Blaze. Shaken up, but a survivor. Hey, at least they're all in good spirits. Among the helpers, the owner of a neighboring daycare who offered to care for the dog's animal control carefully corralled, keeping them safe until owners could reunite. If it was my dog, I would be more concerned. It's like if it was my child. Their emotions stayed high. Is that him? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. As calls came in. Thank you for calling Bella Fun Town. This is May. May I help you? From owners hoping to confirm their dogs made it safely here. Oh, do you have a dog named Loki and Alakai? Maple, one of the first to arrive, ready and waiting when her pickup got here. She's just a happy dog, so she's she's fine. Good job. Good job. Others still in transit. <laughs> Literally, KC Metro Public Transit making their way closer to home. These are just the ones you got. These are the ones we currently have on the property. Owners waiting and wondering, watching as tails wagged in and out <laughs> until they finally got the best kind of news. A traumatic day, huh? It sounds like they were able to get all of the dogs out of this doggy gay care. And I'm going to show you right now what this scene is like, because you can see there are still dogs in this parking lot. We hear barking. There's a large number of fire trucks here. Seattle Fire tells me that earlier today there was a drier fire inside of this doggy daycare where they say they believe there were around 100 dogs inside at the time. A really scary situation. We also want to show you some video of what those moments were like and kind of walk you through what happened here because obviously a really difficult situation that fire started and I spoke with some people who say that they were just driving on their way to Starbucks. They saw this happening. They got out and people just started running out of nearby businesses to try to save these dogs. They say that they tried to guide them out. Somebody brought a box truck up. They opened up the back of the box truck with a ramp and just let the dogs start running into it so that they would be safe. Some of the nearby businesses, such as a Mexican restaurant and an electrical business and a paint store started taking in these dogs, just trying to take care of them. Their big priority here was making making sure that all the people and all of those dogs got out. They say that all the workers were accounted for. It took a little while longer to get to all of those, do those dogs. However, they say that some of them were kind of trapped in a back area. The firefighters had to actually go in. They were trying to push down some walls, make sure they could get them all out safely. We know at least two dogs did have to be brought to a veterinarian for smoke inhalation. And so we're still waiting for an update on their conditions. But again, the good news just in the past five to 10 minutes or so, we know that they were able to get all of the dogs out of that doggy daycare. And so as you take another live look at this scene here where you see there are still a few reunions happening, there are workers talking with firefighters. They are still trying to make sure that they have all the dogs accounted for because as you can imagine, a lot of dogs running out of a building, they got to make sure that they've made contact with all of them. So that's what they're working on right now. They say that they're going to be bringing the dogs elsewhere in Lake City Way to Bow Wow Fun Town so that dog owners can pick them up. There's a chance that not all of the dogs will be there right now because as I mentioned, other businesses taking them in, making sure that they all have them. However, there were so many people that came out to help here. They said they were too shaken up to talk on camera quite yet, but we're going to stay on scene and work to get you updates throughout the days. We'll bring you those to in our later newscasts and, of course, at king5.com. For now, we're live in Lake City Way. Erica Zuko, King 5 News. All right, Erica, thank you very much. Good to know that all of those dogs are now safe.